So uh, now we'll see this uh, other part, some more kind of uh, you know, thumb fundays and then we start application, okay? So uh, next little bit of uh, important concept is uh, this derivative along the tree trees, okay? Let me get this line more, okay? So um, as you can see here, uh, the the derivative along the trajectory is is in like uh, is a concept for developed for the same function v okay so v if v is given as the function in the mouse right uh, of time t and uh, vector r n uh, vector belonging to r n space and uh, it's a real I mean it's a it's a real valued function here okay taking v to the, you know finally getting the uh, value to be in the real space uh, it's continuously differentiable with respect to all arguments and this is one condition that is necessary here that it should be continuously differentiable with all arguments and delta del v is denoting its gradient with respect to x hmm? uh, okay this is written as a row vector that's another kind of a small uh, thing uh, then the function v dot hmm? defined by this uh, way okay so what we are doing here if you see the v being function of uh, time and uh, this vector hmm, is differentiation will have a time part plus like you know this vector part and multiplied by del v by uh, del uh, del x or uh, dx by dt now, this is a complete derivative so del v by del t okay plus del v by del x into dx by dt and del v by del x is actually this del v okay the gradient del v okay so uh, th this part uh, is fine but what we do here is for dx by dt which is x dot we are actually substituting our system okay so <clears throat> so this is a very important part here that uh, uh, we are taking the derivative along the trajectories of a of a system. Okay, so if you generally see this v function, it can have uh, derivative in many different directions. This is a directional derivative. Okay, so since v is a function of this uh, vector, like you know, R in space, this derivative is a directional derivative. Uh, you know, it's a vector uh, function, so it will have a derivative which is directional derivative. And um, we are taking it in the direction of the of the trajectories, uh, direction given by these uh, trajectories of your function or of your system. Okay, the system is defined as x dot is equal to f of t comma x. Okay, because we are substituting that x dot here, we get this derivative which is along the trajectories of the system for this function. Okay. So uh, let me explain you this concept a little bit more in detail here. So, uh, so if you have this Vx now, like let's consider like you know, the two state systems, uh, the x1 and x2 are only two states for the system. We have defined this V to be positive definite function uh, in some way. Okay, so I'm considering this kind of a bowel nature for this uh, V. And if I if I am at any point on this V, okay, whatever point I am, okay, then uh, at this point I can define derivative in in many directions on this uh, x space here, okay. So uh, so along some direction. So if you if you map this point on the on the on the plane, you'll get some kind of a directions for the for the derivative. Okay, so I can ask, okay, what is my derivative along, uh, derivative of this function along some direction here in the x1, x2 space. Okay, now this particular direction that I am choosing to define is a trajectory evolution of uh, this uh, system on this space plane. Okay, so x dot t is actually giving me 
derivative of these these kind of uh, directories which are evolving. Okay, so um, <clears throat> so so when we uh, put uh, uh, you know we we take a derivative along this so we substitute this x dot into our uh, equation for v then actually we are kind of getting the derivative uh, or this uh, the way the function is evolving or the derivative of function is going or the tangent to the to this uh, um, v uh, you know uh, surface hmm, is a tangent to the surface along the direction of these trajectories okay so that is a kind of a notion that that, that gets into and uh, if you see uh, for these uh, uh, things in terms of um, okay so this uh, so so in terms of uh, uh, system dynamics if you see the system dynamics evolving here in some kind of a way like it, when that system dynamics trajectory is mapped like you know or projected on this v surface then along the system directory direction what is happening to v is what we are actually eventually getting hmm? so that is a kind of a concept for uh, uh, you know derivative along the directory now uh, how do we see the stability of a system based on this condition so um, so suppose like you know, we are considering the same kind of a system x dot is equal to f of x t and then the equilibrium for the system is zero and total energy is uh, zero at origin and positive otherwise. So, so that is, uh, we know this energy function has these properties that uh, we, we want for this say function candidate V. Hmm? Uh, so V is, is considered as a, an important function in, in the Lyapunov theorems eventually. So you, you say that okay there exists such a V in such a way that some conditions will come. Okay, so so um, so this V uh, Lyapunov function candidate is important, and energy is one of the possibilities for considering for this V. Okay, so we we see this kind of uh, idea in first in terms of the energy, and then like you know we can argue some of the things. Now uh, system is perturbed from origin and we, we start observing so system is perturbed at say, some point from origin okay at this point and now we see okay the system kind of trajectories evolve and we see what is uh, happening to my v okay or my what is happening to my energy e so first case um, say energy is non increasing okay the energy remains there so we have i'm perturbing here and like no i'm like no the energy is is same okay uh, so v is equal to zero. Okay, what it means is that the the, the system trajectories will not leave like you know this v uh, level, and uh, uh, they will keep on kind of uh, the system will keep on oscillating in the uh, as predicted on the uh, this uh, um, phase plane. You see that the trajectories are going in the circles. Okay. Then, uh, if you see the other condition, okay, this is a, this is kind of a stable also in the sense of uh, Lyapunov definition, okay. You remember that epsilon delta definition. It is uh, this is this system is stable in that sense, okay. Although uh, we may consider from the, the the perspective of linear system, this is like a marginally stable kind of a behavior that one can see. Um, Although uh, other thing is like you know this what we are talking is of the equilibrium stability of the equilibrium okay in the Lyapunov we don't say the system stability because the system may have many equilibria okay so in the nonlinear systems in, in linear systems we have only one equilibrium okay so we don't have any problem but uh, here in the nonlinear systems there are many equilibria that are possible and we talk of the stability of the equilibrium rather than the system. Uh, that is another important point to make sure. Then, if you have a uh, energy of a system monotonically decreasing, okay, so from here, like no energy at some, uh, so uh, this is along the trajectories, and it is decreasing along the trajectories. The energy of a system is is kind of decreasing and and uh, eventually going to zero. As you see, this these trajectories are uh, uh, so 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 what we are doing is we are actually getting conditions from without the solution in place okay so what we are looking at is just a v dot 
okay v dot is less than zero or not okay so we are not really like you know looking as a as, at it as, as if it is like you no know, solution is available and we are projecting the solution and we are seeing that no what we are getting these conditions directly based on the v dot computation as uh, as per this uh, previous kind of a formula okay so this is a v dot we can compute v dot directly and conclude something based on this about v dot right we don't need really the the, the solution of the system to be there okay that is the beauty of this theorem that okay without solving a system we can kind of uh, you know do some kind of a predictions about the 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 stability part okay so so uh, this i am so showing you the solution just for the sake of uh, you know understanding here that okay if it is monotonically like decreasing uh, energy along the trajectories so some some kind of a evolution will happen here we don't know that we don't we we need, we need not know as long as we know that v dot is getting a, like you know less than zero happening along the trajectories we are fine okay so uh, if that is the case that means like you know some way the trajectories are kind of approaching like you know this equilibrium uh, position zero and then if it is increasing function so this this becomes then the stable and attractive kind of a uh, uh, equilibrium and that's what gives you this asymptotic stability okay and when this uh, um, is increasing you can see that like if this is increasing in the in the direction along the surface of this v then we are your trajectories are going away from like you know it are going um, out of the bounds probably uh, bounds of like you know whatever they are not coming back to the equilibrium zero and the system is is having that unstable kind of a behavior okay so these are the basic uh, foundations you know the fundamentals for for this lepna uh, theory okay so we can so this derivative of energy type positive definite function is zero when the equilibrium is stable then if it is strictly less than zero uh, then so this derivative uh, the de derivative of energy type function okay if this is strictly less than zero then the equilibrium of the system is stable and attractive which means it is having asymptotic stability and there is uh, uh, this uh, so so this there is definite relationship between the stability and the properties of the okay so this is like you no know, some kind of a uh, sketchy kind of a analysis to say that okay and uh, there is more formal uh, kind of a you no know, mathematical formula formulation uh, lyapunov has proposed and come up with the theorem on stability so um, the idea here is not to restrict ourselves to only energy type of functions you can define any function which is uh, pdf is another kind of a beauty of lyapunov theory that uh, you don't restrict yourself to only energy type of function any function you can take if you are able to find these so these are so lyapunov gives all the necessary conditions okay so uh, if you are able to find like no whatever like no satisfying the the conditions then you have a, a result so if you are not able to find we cannot say Okay, those are kind of uh, conditions that uh, typically the theorem has. Okay, so these are like uh, one-way kind of uh, uh, arguments. Okay, so if you are able to give me like you know these conditions satisfying B or other kind of a function, whatever it is, um, then I can guarantee you that your system will be stable or asymptotically stable or whatever. That stability definitions will come for the system. Okay, so that is a idea that uh, the Apna has uh, proposed. Okay. so we'll see one or two theorems and then like you know we'll uh, close for now okay um, so this first theorem of stability proof okay uh, no proof here like you know, we are just going to see these theorems now okay uh, the proof is there in the in the books if you want to get into but uh, in the, as a part of this uh, class we are see this otherwise like you know this again lyapunov theory and it, it's all these theorems becomes like a matter of discussion long discussion in in maybe a half a semester kind of a course can be there on the on the uh, all the details nitty gritty of uh, you know definitions and mathematics okay so we are we are right right now looking at more mainly application perspective for this so this this why we are not getting into too many mathematical details but just the essential kind of a details so that we can look at these theorems and apply them 
for a case that it's at, at our hand okay that is the whole idea of uh, development here okay so this theorem on stability says that equilibrium zero of the system okay so this system as we saw earlier that okay this we define the system such that the equilibrium is zero and this equilibrium zero of the system is stable if there exists lpdf like you no know, like locally positive definite function which is continuously differentiable uh, at least once hmm? v which is again defining based on this t and x here and uh, real valued function okay and constant r greater than 0 such that this v dot of x is less than 0 less than or equal to 0 look this sign is not less than 0 it is less than or equal to 0 and for all t greater than t0 hmm? and for all x belonging to ball of radius r okay so this r constant is defined in the way that we have this condition valid at least for some uh, distance or some kind of a norm around the uh, origin okay uh, for that this is valid then uh, we have the equilibrium uh, of the system yeah, so v dot is elevated along the trajectories of the system then this equilibrium of the uh, system is uniformly asymptotically stable uh, uh, okay this is a equilibrium stable, stable system is stable sorry the so v dot is evaluated along the trajectories of the system then this uh, equilibrium is stable okay um, so there are these uh, conditions which are giving uh, putting a condition on v dot to be less than or equal to zero okay so this is important condition here so you define some kind of a v which is uh, positive definite function of uh, so it, it needs to have all the components of x re represented in the function okay to be uh, lpdf as we have seen some examples okay so you define some function okay it need not be energy function it, energy functions is typically the first candidate that uh, we know we should uh, try but it is not mandatory that it has to be energy function no so when we do our um, Lagrangian formulation already we have uh, energy expressions available so that becomes like a naturally the, the first kind of a candidate to, to consider there okay um, so that's why like you know this is connected that the D matrix is kind of very important for these uh, Lyapunov theorems when we start using V as a, as a energy function for our uh, mechanical systems okay uh, then uh, we have this definition of stability when v dot is less than or equal to zero okay so you need to establish that v dot is less than or equal to zero by same kind of uh, arguments of um, you know say either quadratic function or uh, uh, your basic definition of uh, lpdf and things like that okay all right uh, now uh, we have this uniformly asymptotically stable kind of a definition coming up here where now we have a uh, this exists decrescent LPDF V. So now this is decrescency condition is coming in addition. So this function beta of class K is an upper bound. You remember that decrescency we talked in the last part is about existence of this function beta of class K such that the V is bounded from above also by this function. Okay, so that is a, a bounded from above by this function. And the bound from below is actually coming as a definition of LPDF ness for okay. So uh, if that kind of a thing exists, then it is uniformly um, uh, okay. So so um, huh. so. Uh, so 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 this is a condition on v and for for asymptotic stability we need this minus v dot is an lpdf okay so this is now a little stronger condition than uh, v dot is less than or equal to zero so now we want this uh, v dot minus v dot to be an lpdf function so you check take check this minus v dot function and see that it has this property of LPDF where you remember the properties like we have a V so this minus V dot should be zero here it should have uh, some evolution uh, such that it is bounded from below by some uh, function of class K that is what uh, will will these properties of this V dot 
will be minus v dot will be okay so you need to make sure that lpdf properties are satisfied for this minus v dot okay lpdf at least in some uh, you know ball of radius r where r is greater than 0 okay from the origin you take some kind of a norm up to the point r and then like you know, in that uh, to that thing it should be valid okay then that equilibrium is is uh, called uniformly asymptotically stable okay so there are more kind of these definitions so the, what we need to bother about is this asymptotically stable system and a stable system these are the two main kind of points we we take from here there are more kind of a finesse to these definitions uh, asymptotic stability uniformly asymptotically stable system or um, exponentially stable system all those kind of different uh, uh, definitions are uh, theorems are there which we are not getting into more details what we are interested in to to see is that this um, uh, system is stable or asymptotically stable the asymptotic stability is is a stronger condition to have because in asymptotic stability we we actually um, look at the 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 system trajectory is going to zero hmm? so like that we will we'll see so uh, we'll talk about this and like you no know, more examples from the next class onwards and application from the next class onwards okay so you can meanwhile try uh, to apply to this case okay and see uh, whether you are able to kind of see through the the so don't look at this uh, directly you can apply yourself to our simple kind of a case of uh, mass lying on the surface to get a hold of like you know get a hang of how things work here hmm? uh, and we'll anyway discuss in the next class okay